Hello and welcome to my X Factor Chimps Guide. I'm releasing this right before Update 37 is set to come out, so hopefully the balance changes don't completely kill this strategy. <laughs> they might. These first few Dart Monkey placements are the hardest things in the entire run. So you're going to start by placing a Dart Monkey as top left into that corner as possible. And then you're going to place another dart monkey right here, as down as possible in that circle, and then move it slightly to the left. This should ensure a round 6 victory every single time. Before round 7, you're going to place a sniper right over here, and you're going to set it to strong. The next a lot of sniper placements actually do matter because most of these, most of these are going to get upgraded to shrapnel so it actually does matter where you place them for that shrapnel. Before round 9 you're going to place another sniper right over here and you're also going to set it to strong. These sniper placements, try and get them as close as possible to where I do just so village placement can stay consistent as that village placement thing is very weird and annoying for the entire run. Before round 11, you're going to place another sniper right over here in this little thingy, I don't know what it's called, and you're going to put it on strong. Uh, you should probably place the snipers in between rounds like I do here, just so sniper shot timing can stay consistent, because it actually kind of does matter a little bit. It kind of matters a little bit until you start upgrading their attack speed. Before round 14, you're going to want to place Geraldo right about here, so that the bottom part of his range touches that little indent thingy in the bottom circle. And then before round 15, you're going to want to place a shooty turret right about here. And then after round 15, place another shooty turret right about there, as bottom as possible in that circle. And then before round 18, you're going to want to place another sniper as close as possible to your previous one and then you're going to want to put it on strong and then before round 19 you're going to want to place another sniper like right over there so that the outside of its not actually kind of range touches the that thing that my mouse cursor is pointing at oh yeah and don't forget to put it on strong before round 21, place a druid right here as low as possible. Before 22, get Thorn Swarm. You can buy Heart of Oak now if you really want to, or you don't have to, it doesn't really matter. Before 24, upgrade this sniper specifically to Night Vision Goggles. In the middle of 27, buy Druid of the Jungle as soon as possible because you really do need it to beat the round. And then don't buy Hard Thorns. Buy Full Metal Jacket on a different sniper, that one specifically. You, you can do Hard Thorns, but it's just more consistent to get Full Metal Jacket first. And now get Hard Thorns. Upgrade your camo sniper to shrapnel, and then put it on first once you get the shrapnel. And then buy fast firing in the middle of 31, just to be consistent. And then faster firing in the middle of 32. Not needed yet, but do it anyway. And then upgrade your lead sniper to night vision goggles for 33. Before round 35, force feed your druid some tasty pickles. Before round 37,
buy a village right here. You can see I'm spending a lot of time because these village placements are very, very important. And then upgrade your village to monkey commerce and without buying bigger range, it should be able to discount your lead sniper. And then buy large caliber mid round. Not sure you need it for the round, but do it anyway. In the middle of 39, upgrade your sniper to deadly precision. And then, before round 40, buy a glue right over there in front of your druid. Before round 42, buy Bouncing Bullet, because screw round 42, no one likes you camo rainbows. And then before 43, place an Alchemist right next to your Bouncing Bullet Sniper, and upgrade that Alchemist to Acidic Mixture Dip mid-round, just so it gets the buff and can clear the ceramics easily. Oh, nope, turns out it didn't get the buff. Who cares? You still win. Probably. And then get Berserker Brew after the round, and buy Stronger Acid and Perishing Potion. Forgot to mention this in the non-sped up version, but upgrade your village to Jungle Drums. And then just an AFK for the next few rounds, I guess. You don't have to do much, like, at all for these next few, so just chill for a bit. Before round 49, you're going to want to buy May Moab. And then you're going to want to glue the top left lane for round 49. Very important that you do this. You can probably win without it, but... Eh, just to be safe. This village placement here is actually the hardest thing in the run. What you want to do is to be able to hit all of the snipers except you don't need to hit the um the main moab and that specific bouncing bullet which will be an elite sniper because those can already pop leads and this village will be turned into a mib i spend way too long and and then i realized that i didn't need to get all of them so yeah And then once you've placed the village, upgrade it to Monkey Commerce. Upgrade your left bottom sniper to Bouncing Bullet and set it to first. And then give it even faster fire. And then do the same thing to your other bottom sniper. Bouncing Bullet, even faster firing, set to first. Place an alchemist right over here, as close as possible to your bottom left sniper, and upgrade it to acidic mixture dip, and then glue the bottom lane before 54 starts. I forgot, and uh, had a little panic right there, as I realized that I forgot. And then upgrade that alk to berserker boo with perishing potions. These next two rounds are very, very AFK, but the only thing you need to do is upgrade your top alchemist to stronger stimulant. Upgrade your sniper receiving the tier 4 alk buff to a supply drop. Before 63, you're going to give all three Bouncing Bullet Snipers each a Sharpening Stone, each a pair of Pickles, and you're going to glue the... which side? Oh, you're, you're not going to glue, actually. You don't need to, but you probably should. And you're going to set your main mob to first.
64 is especially weird on this map because sometimes the main Moab just targets like the completely wrong thing. After 64, you can just AFK again. Before round 71, upgrade your supply drop sniper to elite sniper, and then set it back to first. And then at some point over the next few rounds, just do it before 75, place a sniper not in range of any elk buff, but in range of both discount villages and then start upgrading it to full auto with large caliber. These next rounds are also just pretty much entirely AFK after you buy full auto sniper. Get Elite Defender before round 80, and then start upgrading that Lonely Sniper you placed at the beginning of the game to Bouncing Bullet with even faster firing and set it to first. And then place another Sniper and upgrade it to the same path as the previous one. and then place an alchemist just somewhere I guess next to your two lonely unelk buffed snipers and then upgrade that alchemist to berserker brew with perishing potions or whatever the upgrade's called and then stronger stimulant before round 84 Give your elite sniper and your two bottom bouncing bullets a sharpening stone. And then upgrade your other alchemist to stronger stimulant as well. Over the next few rounds, upgrade your top village to monkey intelligence bureau. And then place a glue gunner right next to that little thingy in the middle. Try and only have it in range of one elk buff, but it doesn't really matter if it's, it's two. And then upgrade it to Moab glue with glue splatter and put it to strong. And then after round 89, give your elite sniper. I'm waiting, come on. And Elite Defender, the Geraldo Camo Vision Potion thingies. And then before 91, don't actually do anything. That was just a bait. Mid 91, place a Moab Press right above your Moab Glue and give it 204. You could also do it after the round, but who cares? And then. Give a sharpening stone to another bouncing bullet, and then give pickles to your elite sniper, a bouncing bullet, and then two more bouncing bullets mid-round. After 92, Geraldo should get the full level 20 restock, so then give a camo potion to your Moab glue, and then just a random bouncing bullet, it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna start the round and place a ninja 
somewhere where it doesn't take any alpha buffs. It doesn't have to be in range of the discounts. And then give it Bloon Sabo before round 95 at some point. And then, you should probably do this before 94, but I forgot. Give your Elite Sniper and the two bouncing bullets that had the Sharpening Stone previously. Give them the Sharpening Stone again. You can buy a, bit, a Moab Press mid-95 if you really want to. Not needed to beat the round whatsoever, just do it before 96. And then you're going to Sabo 3 or 4 fast forwarded seconds after the DDT show up on round 95. Before, during, or after 97, doesn't really matter. Give your elite sniper, and then three random bouncing bullets, uh, some pickles. Doesn't really matter which three bouncing bullets, just give it to three of them. Before round 98, place two genies in range of the jungle drums, and then, I don't know, spend money on random Geraldo nonsense if you please. I didn't, but you can if you really want to. You've already won at this point, but eh, if you want to, you can. And then during, before, or after round 98, place a spike storm, preferably in range of one of the discounts. Doesn't really matter if it is, but yeah, it's fine. And then Above your shooty turret, place an embrittlement with the tier 1 middle cross path. And then sab with the DDTs on round 99. And then for round 100, once the bad reaches your bouncing bullets, spike storm, rejuve, spike storm, rejuve, spike storm. Very overpowered. And then you can use some Super Maelstroms if you want to. You don't like actually have to, but if you if you really want to, I guess you can. And then sabo the ZOMGs when the bad pops. And then if you want to, you can use another Super Maelstrom to clean up. Not needed at all, but yeah. Good job on your X Factor Black Border. Hope you have a nice day, and see you next time. I'll wait until the patch notes for update 37 to start working on another guide. I made this one like late May, but I just never had time to edit it. So yeah, here it is. The next guide I make is either going to be on Dark Dungeons or Ravine. Not bloody yet. That's coming soon, maybe. I don't know. Maybe for 500 subs? I don't know.